welcome to the Heartification Podcast, where I interview people on how art has affected their lives and what it means to them. Art has a very special place in my life. It not only makes me feel happy, but it allows me to make others feel special. This podcast is all about how art has made an impact on others' lives for all ages, all backgrounds, and all walks of life. You can find more about this podcast guest in my show notes. Without further ado, let's welcome my next guest. She is a professional and international model, yoga instructor, vegan chef, and health coach. Please welcome my next guest, Angela Argentina. Thank you. Thank you for the introduction. Yeah, thank, thank you, you so for much having for me. Here. Yeah, thank you so much for doing this. Uh, so the first question I always ask is, how do you define art? Ooh, um, art, art is essential. <laughs> art is, to me, it's a combination of freedom of expression. It is a combination of spirituality and beauty and just transforming that into however you want to perceive it, but to make whatever it is more enjoyable. Yeah, definitely. Like my definition is any way you're able to express yourselves, express yourself in like, you know, I've talked to other people where they've said art is, you know, um, kind of like a replacement if you can't say like what you want to say. or It's really know, good for that. Just let out, <laughs> right? So yeah. I think it's like your little friend where you can just express yourself and, you know, just let out your emotions, even if you don't like have the words of like what you're feeling. Totally. That's actually one of my approaches to dealing with some, some stuff that I want to um, present is I'm using art to say what I can't say um, because the mind can translate the messages without the words. It's so much more powerful because it talks to the subconscious. So there's a quote that I love. It's called art is rebellion in its purest form. And it totally is because it is like the freedom of expression of the soul. That's a way better definition. I'm just going to go with that one. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And what art forms are you exposed to? Oh, for me, like everything. I'm like a, such a multimedia artist. Um, like my room is art. I, I paint, I draw, I do digital art as well. I sing now. The singing is more recently, but it's actually, I think, one of the things I'm supposed to, like I'm called to do. Um, and I love making videos. I love collaging. Food to me is actually an art. Like I'm, I'm a vegan chef, but I come at it from a background from nutrition. I come back from like wanting to make food taste good. Um, but I also come at it from an artist. So it's like, how can I take, it's like a blank canvas. And then the, the ingredients are the medium. It's like, how can I make this solve all these problems and still look delicious and be beautiful and healthy? So that's one of my new favorite art mediums is uh, food. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. And do you consider modeling to be an art? And if so, why? I do, actually. Um, I've been modeling for a long time. Um, but before I went into modeling, I was on the back end. Like I, I worked in advertising and I was a creative art director and a copywriter. And I would always choose models. You know, I would do the castings and stuff like that. Um, because what it is, is telling a story and it's a narrative. It's an illustration of um, whatever it is. It's an expression, right? Um, but modeling for me personally now, like, um, you know, I do it for a number of reasons, but it is very artistic. Like you are acting, you are, um, you know, making something beautiful. Like basically your body could be a canvas. Um, if it's a, like a movement thing, that's dance. Um, so it's just, it's another form of freedom of expression. Um, and I mean, we are attracted to models mainly because of the images that they portray and that speaks to us in some way. So that in, in its own essence to me is art. So, yeah, that's awesome. And as we just talked about before, um, I believe that cooking is a form of art and I also believe that art can help <laughs> people. So in what way do you think the art of cooking can help people? Oh, um, I'm glad that you asked that. So I, um, I have a lot of people that come to me and, you know, I also am a vegan chef, so I only deal with plant-based stuff and I'm really uh, focused on making stuff nutritious and delicious. Like I don't want there to be some sort of compromise, uh, but people get overwhelmed just kind of like what they do with art. They're like, I'm not creative. I'm not a cook. Um, and so they're always looking for the the process. They're always looking for the recipe. And if they don't have that recipe, then they're like, oh my God, I can't make this. So what I try to do is I try to get people to be 
um, creative with it. And I try and make them think of it more as a formula because the formula can always be replaced. Like, what are you trying to do? Are you trying to achieve something? Um, and I make them think about it in terms of colors because the colors are the nutrients. So the more colorful your dish is, the more beautiful it is, but also the healthier it is. So I get them thinking about it not as like, how do I um, duplicate this recipe, but how can I create something that serves me because my palate is going to be different than your palate. And what if you have ingredients from a different brand or from a different country or whatever, like it's not going to have the same result. And so you have to be forgiving just like you do with the creative process that it's always going to be different, but learning how to work within your palate or whatever it is that you're working with. So that's like the creative process in itself. It's just like, you know, you don't always have exactly what you need but it doesn't mean it's not going to work out so it's like learning that there's always going to be you're always going to have a plate it's just like up to you and like how you want to create that so yeah definitely like as you said everyone has a different palette and I connect immediately like connect that with art how everybody has (laughs) interpretation of how like their their interpretation of life and on a piece of art like you can have one piece of art and you can like have five people and they might have all different perspectives of it based on you know their experiences and I think artists have um trouble with you know saying oh my art's not like this person's my art's not like this person so it's not good and the society's you know it's always like judging people like okay your art doesn't look like this mm-hmm. you know, da Vinci painting so you're not a good artist and I yeah. think that's like, you know, putting artists down and, and not just like in painting, you know, and in, in cooking, as you said, in dance and singing in any form of art. And I think it's, you know, we should like, you know, stop that and just let artists, you know, just express their creativity and like let them unleash their emotions. Totally. And like back to that, like about the food and the art, um, you know, like if you look at some some chef's creations, like it literally is art on the plate you know, like how everything is stylized and everything like that. And it's beautiful because it's nature and nature is beautiful. Like nature is pure art, right? Like if you even look into the shape and formation of an orange and it's like perfect symmetrical little thing, like that's beautiful. And it's just something that we take for granted every single day. So it's really important that we do like appreciate that because beauty is all around us. And, um, You know, it's the artist in you that can appreciate that and take that little wedge of orange, orange, sorry, and like make it into like a happy face. Then it becomes art. Like art is everywhere. It's just in the eye of the beholder. And it's like it is that divine process of being creative with whatever your surroundings are. Yeah, I totally agree with you. And you have traveled to many different countries. So has there ever been someone or something that ha- that has had an artistic impact on you that was different um, for each country? Oh, my God. Yeah. Like, yeah, I when I OK, so I, I've done a few different, like really big trips and um, literally like life changing. Actually, do you want to hold on one second? I will yeah, show sure. you something. OK. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is actually so cool. Hold on. <laughs> I just found this last night, but it's like a perfect. Uh, Hold on, maybe you can't hear me. No, I can hear. <laughs> I fa- okay, I found this last night, and um, it's actually uh, what I made before I went on like my first big backpacking trip through Europe. Um, and I was working as an art director and a copywriter in Northern Ireland, so um, I was really big on vision boards, <laughs> and I just wanted. I moved out to Northern Ireland, and I actually didn't like my job very much. It was very like corporate and advertising, and not like you know super creative and artistic like I did, but I only really moved there is because I wanted to travel Europe one day, you know? So that was like the stepping stone. It was like the safety net. I had a job and everything that I quit. Um, <laughs> but I made myself this book right before I went on my, like my travels, like through 14 countries in Europe. Okay. I'm going to shoot a string. So I'll just show you. It's real. like, oh, look wow. how thick and beautiful it is. I know. I love it. What is that? So it's just like little, little, Oh, hold on oh, one second. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh it's because yeah. um. You know what? I'm gonna plug this in. It's my. Head. I don't want my battery to die. Okay. So this is the book. Wow. It is. I'll show you here. It's so, so beautiful. Of the things like the architecture when you're traveling is so inspiring. And um, that was like a little collage. 
oh, what, that's what amazing. Do. And then I took like even, you know, poetry is art too. So yeah, I always definitely. take little things that inspire you. Anything that inspires you is art. This is actually something it's like a little collage that I made <laughs> and um, more stuff. So I'll just kind of go through it. There's a monkey from Thailand, <laughs> couch surfing, little sparkles. So you can, not that this is like my finest art, but this is just a little like scrapbook, but uh, you can kind of see, this is me planning my trip. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I loved like mosaics. I got really into like henna, kind of Mindy designs. I, I did that. Wow, that's um, amazing. Little, little notes, cards, dancing. <laughs> um, let's see what else. This was my countdown literally to go on my travels. <laughs> <laughs> I like, I had the things. Let's see what else is in there. More stuff. Um, see if there's anything interesting in here. La, 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 la. Okay. Well, anyways, that was the book that I found last night. And I used art to really help me like manifest um, the desires um, that I was having to like travel. And I was like, yes. So I started doing that. So, um, you know, seeing is believing and experiencing art is very experiential. Like we often think it's like something that we experience only with our eyes, but it's not. It's like, you know, um, the sound vibrations can trigger emotions in you and, um, you know, everything, the smells and yeah. So art is all around us. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And, you know, with the book, I love how it is just like, you know, a reflection of your personality and yeah. sometimes you can just do art for yourself. You know, you don't have to go put it out there and try to sell it or show it to the world. You can just do it yourself to you know let out your emotions which is I think yeah is amazing. it is it to me art is therapy hold on I'm just gonna get my charger one second I don't want to yeah definitely I don't want to lose you <laughs> <laughs> okay there we go I can hear you anyways I don't know if you can hear me the same but... yeah I can hear you okay beautiful yeah, so definitely, like, as you were saying, art can be therapeutic, and that brings me right to the next question. So uh, art can be therapeutic and help people express themselves, and um, art can help people through difficult situations. Uh, so has art ever helped you through a difficult situation? And if so, how? And can you give an example? Yeah, like, so much. Um, okay, so for example, right now, like, I'm, I'm transitioning, I was going to move to Mexico, actually, when I was on the podcast with your your father, I was in the process of a big move. And then I decided to stay because I'm working on a project I want to launch here in Toronto, um, to really help uh, support small businesses and, and promote healthier menus. And it just just solves a lot of problems. And it's something that I wanted to do, but um, I wasn't doing it. And so anyways, I decided to stay. But like in that, like I didn't have a place to stay because my place was rented and it was just really um, stressful. And so I turned my space. So I'm just renting a room right now until I figure out my next move uh, with a friend. And it's actually a really good environment for me because they're artists. So I'm surrounded by people who are like making music. And so it's just a really creative environment. Um, and you can't really see everything here, but this is my little like creative Zen zone. I'll send you the video. So if you want to like put it in. Yeah, awesome. Um, but as I'm working on that, like I'm, I'm really keeping my energy around me really positive um, with my friends and I'm actually limiting it, but I'm in my creative Zen zone. So I put all these things up, like there's butterflies on the wall. I've got little lights and stuff like that. Um, and so having that makes me feel um, like safe, you know, so it, it helps you in that. Um, also, meditation comes to me through art. Like you can paint mandalas and I do a lot of spiritual art. Um, like I love painting Buddha and like putting little like rhinestones and stuff on it. Um, singing is also very therapeutic. It's something that I do actually, hold on, I'll give you. Look at all these little surprises you didn't really expect you were gonna get today. <laughs> so this is um, a sound bowl. Oh, wow. And uh, it's a meditation bowl, but it is music. And it is healing. It has healing frequencies. You can That's amazing. Them the phone here. Yeah. That is so cool. Wow. That is amazing. So that is art. Um, I sing mantras too. So I got into kind of curtain when I was doing yoga teacher training. Yoga to me is also art. It's like dance. 
Um, but the postures have specific purpose and they, they, you know, uh, trigger different muscle groups. They also can stimulate different emotions and, and feelings and whatever, but, um, it's art, the vinyasa, the movement through them, like it, it can be very creative. So, um, yeah, it's all art. And, and when you're in a bad mood, it's really important to actually get into that creative flow because it releases those happy hormones. So, you know, it's different for everybody. Like some people, maybe it is coloring. I sometimes just that, that process of scribbling helps you release whatever, um, kind of energies or whatever is bothering you. It's a, it's an, it's a way to like, you know, channel, I think, and release whatever it is um, that you need to work through because you know, the best way out is through. So <laughs> do it through art. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And are you attracted to any particular artist? Ooh, I love so many artists. Um, not that I'm like, like, I love, I love Madonna just because she's always recreating herself. You know, and I, and I, I do like her music. Um, not that I'm like a huge, like personal fan of her in particular, but like as an artist, I think she's really good. Um, it's just, it's actually so hard because there's just, I love so many different artists. Um, like I love different types of music. And so I'm really, lately I've been really drawn to like more like yoga music and mantras and stuff because that's what I want to sing. So I want to do similar stuff. Like I want to make music videos with like my sound and stuff. Um, I know you wouldn't consider her and well, actually you might, but like, I love Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> She's like, she was such a woman of, you know, beyond, beyond her times. Like she was a model, um, but she was also a huge feminist and an activist in her own right. And I just love that she was a pure rebel. Like she just, you know, wasn't out there to like offend anybody. She was just being her sweet, charming self. But she did her own thing and she did speak up for and defend people who, you know, didn't have, you know, fair opportunities and stuff like that. So many artists. I'll probably come up with some more, but um, <laughs> uh, I don't know, uh, particularly like I have a lot of friends that are artists, too, like um, that I work with, like different photographers. Um, but it's, it's more like more than necessarily following people. I follow styles. You know, I'm really into lately, like surrealism. Well, not even lately. Like I love surrealism and kind of the collage um, just because the multimedia and the layering, it has like, it adds so much more dimension and it's like reappropriating stuff. I love that concept of taking a meaning and um, kind of giving it a twist and like re like re narrating the story. I think that's a really powerful process. So that's kind of a lot of what I'm into in my art. Um, I'm trying to do a lot more stuff like that. So, yeah. Yeah, that's amazing. And are you attracted to any particular art form? What do you mean art form? Like any art form, you know, like music, dance, meditation. Oh, oh my God, everything. Like literally, well, maybe not everything. Um, not like into finger painting, <laughs> but I love, like, I love, um, I do love singing. Singing is something like I literally sing every day now. And it's a really good way talking about healing to help open up and activate and heal your throat chakra, because that is the sound is the, the element of that. And uh, that's one thing that I've been working through dancing and yoga. Like that to me is an art, like I, and yoga is an art also just in the poses. They're beautiful, you know? Um, and that's something that I practice every day. Um, <laughs> as when you see my place, when I send you the video, you'll get an idea. Like, I just like art all around me. Like I've made this little like shrine and there's little crystal disco balls hanging from everything. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, I like multimedia stuff. I don't really watch like Hollywood videos and stuff. So, um, I know that that stuff's like where all the high budgets and stuff are, but I am into more like indie, like what are people really doing? And I really like, um, when I was traveling, I was really inspired by how people would, um kind of repurpose stuff because i'm really into sustainability and i think that's the artist's job is to like take some of this the problems of the world and solve them through art because what else are we going to do with all this plastic and stuff like that you know and they can take something that would potentially be garbage and make it beautiful and sellable make it desirable like that is pure art like that is art in its finest form so i'm really into stuff like that like art that serves a purpose um, kind of like what you're doing. <laughs> yeah. So 
That's awesome. And uh, so my hardification project is all about giving back to the community, specifically to those with disabilities and illnesses. So how do you give back to the community? Oh, I do a lot of different stuff. <laughs> um, actually, today I was going to, but my friend didn't go. We, I do beach cleanups with my friend Wayne. Um, I also help out with this group called Compassion on the Streets, and uh, we feed the homeless people. And sometimes I've even made like some really delicious food, <laughs> like gourmet food. I don't chintz out on that. Um, what else do I do? I volunteer a lot of different stuff. Um, I did... Uh, graphic design for like I volunteered for Voluntario Global for about four years. Um, I was living in Argentina and just seeing the children and stuff um, and just like the lack of opportunity they had there felt really compelled to do something. So I was, you know, more into design, graphic design at that time. So that's what I contributed. And um, yeah, I, I, I help out with a lot of other little kind of like grassroots projects um cleanups are the main ones um i have another one actually you know what's funny i i i don't know if i mentioned this to you but when i was in argentina i had a very similar concept and uh it was called art with heart so like here's this heartification wow. mine was called art with heart and what i would do is um taking stuff i would try and like create workshops to get people to rethink how to um repurpose sustainable stuff and then sell it um and now i'm not doing that anymore i'm not even in argentina but um what i want to do and it's kind of interesting that you messaged me because i this just kind of came back up and then you messaged me but um i want to make art and like auction it off and then give um like half the proceeds to whatever charity so yeah that's yeah what i'm that's doing with awesome. it <laughs> Yeah, that's awesome. And I love how, you know, the art with heart, like mm -hmm. the thing of heartification is, um, so ification means to do, and then art comes from the heart. So, you know, kind of just pushed it all together, which made heartification, art with heart. Yeah, it's is, such a good name. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. And art with heart, you know, it's, it's like literally like two like pieces of like a stick or something, you know, They're just combined. Yeah. Yeah. It sounds really professional too. <laughs> like you. I am Miss Heartification. <laughs> <laughs> and uh how would you like people to get in touch with you um they can get in touch with me through my website which is angelaargentina.com and um my facebook page is uh facebook.com angela argentina fan at the end and i also am on linkedin i think it's angela you can type in angela argentina i'm sure i'll pop up and i also have an instagram but it's angela underscore argentina so that would probably be the best way. Yeah, that's and, awesome. Thank yeah. you so much for doing this. Thank you. And I'm really, I really wish you the best on your projects. And if I can be of help or whatever in the future, please let me know. Yeah, definitely. Thank you so much. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. Have a beautiful day. Yeah, you too. Thank you for listening to this podcast. Remember, if you want to find out more about this guest, please go to my show notes where I have all the links needed. If you enjoyed this podcast, please subscribe to my podcast series and help me by sharing it, leaving a rating and a comment. I hope you join me on my next podcast. Bye for now.